Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Lara Yamada. And I'm Paula Akana. Investigators from state, federal and military agencies are all looking for clues to the cause of last night's fatal helicopter crash. The helicopter went down about 7.30 last night in Kaneohe Bay. Tonight, as crews continue the cleanup, Marines are mourning the loss of one of their own. KITV4's Paul Drews has more on the reaction of Marines to this crash and the environmental aftermath. The wreckage of the CH-53D still sits in Kaneohe Bay where it crashed. While on shore at Marine Corps Base Hawaii, a somber mood has settled over Marines stationed there. Offering uh, the deepest and most sincere condolences uh, from the Marines and sailors of Marine Corps Base Hawaii and the uh, local communities to HMH, HMH-363 Red Lions and the family and friends of the Marines involved in this accident. Our prayers go out to them. Marines I talk with say this crash has hit them hard, not only because it happened so unexpectedly, but also because it happened so close to home. Even Marines who did not know the Sea Stallion crew felt like they had lost a brother when the helicopter went down last night just before 7.30, killing one Marine and injuring three others. While the accident was unexpected, the Marines on board the helicopter trained for emergencies just like this. We all go do uh, training flights out in the area as far as simulate, simulating those emergencies. So it's something we train to all the time. So it's not something that any pilot or any crew is not prepared for. They are prepared for, for an incident like this. This fatal crash also sparked an environmental emergency. Crews were called in to clean up 700 gallons of fuel known as Jet Propulsion A, which poured out of two damaged external gas tanks. One of which that spilled into the bay had actually ruptured. The other one was leaking, so we actually were able to contain that and remove the fuel. Throughout the day, there were reports of fuel odor on the bay's shores, but marine crews were not able to spot any leaked jet fuel. Winds, water, and sunlight helped to break up the volatile gas, and so far, there are no reports of the fuel damaging the marine ecosystem. Because of the weight and the lightness of that uh, JP-8, uh, recovery operations of that and because of the, the, the quickness in which it dissipates, uh, the effects of it would be minimal. In Kaneohe, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. The three surviving Marines are recovering at the hospital with ankle and spinal injuries, which according to Lieutenant Colonel Antonio, are injuries consistent with a hard landing.